a little bit excited. We wanted to provide this update to share some of our next steps in response to the decisions of the governor uh, over the past few days. We will be canceling our Sunday services uh, for the next three weeks. And we feel like this decision is consistent and appropriate uh, and in the spirit of the decisions of our government to keep the most amount of people safe. One of the passages of scripture that has informed our thinking comes from James chapter 3, verse 17. In there, James says that wisdom that comes from above is first pure and then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits. And though there is much information that we all desire to have and things that we want to know that we do not right now know, we can pursue wisdom in this time. And when James says that wisdom from above is pure, pure does not mean without error or without any mistakes, but it means singular in its focus and in its motivation. And as Christians, we are to live with the desire and the goal to glorify God, to love him, and to love our neighbors well. We believe our leaders are making their decisions to keep the most amount of our citizens as safe as possible. And we want to enter into that uh, and actually lead the way and be examples in our community of caring for those who are the most vulnerable in this time. And James also says that if we have that pure motive and desire that we will also be able to be peaceable. Uh, this is an anxious time uh, for many uh, and all of us are gonna figure out new rhythms over the next few weeks of what life looks like for us on a regular basis. And surely there are gonna be ripple effects from the decisions that have been made uh, that none of us can right now know uh, the full implications of. But in this time, we can be people of peace. If we can show that our confidence ultimately is in God. We don't control what's going on. The best of our leaders with the best of their intentions can't control what is going on. But we can be agents of peace and keeping the peace uh, in our communities. And then the next word that James uses is gentle. Uh, gentleness is going to be a premium uh, in the days ahead. There are some hard realities that we have to address. There are hard conversations that we have to have. And so whether you're talking to your children about why school is canceled for the next three weeks, or you're talking to a family member who is going to have to figure out how to work from home or might be laid off from work because of this, we all need a spirit of gentleness that uh, helps us to talk about these things. We can't ignore uh, what's taking place, uh, but in a desire to be pure and peaceable, if we maintain a gentleness, we don't have to run from it either. We can talk about this with one another. And so we want you to know that even though we won't be having our Sunday services, as a staff, we'll still be available to you. And we want you to reach out to call uh, the governor has not prohibited uh, being in the public or meeting together with people. The limitations are on larger gatherings. And so if you are feeling well uh, and need uh, someone to listen and someone to pray together with you, uh, we desire to do that, to be a, a gentle and a peaceable influence in your life in whatever ways we can in the next few weeks. And then James also says that wisdom from above is open to reason. And so... We want to get our information and our updates from reliable sources, and we want to encourage you to do the same, uh, to make sure that you double check what you're hearing and getting it from the direct sources as much as possible. Our own governor has been doing a press conference live uh, that you can stream. Uh, resources like the Akron Beacon Journal have made their website available for free in this time. National newspapers have made their updates on the coronavirus free at this time. And so there are really good and reputable sources of information that previously you would have had to pay for that we all now can access for free. So we believe it's important to be open to reason, to listen to the professionals and the medical professionals and the scientists who understand this in ways that we cannot. 
and as a faith community to show our willingness to be open-minded and to listen to those who have positions of authority over us and who we believe are making the decisions uh, in our best interest. And then also James says that wisdom from above is full of mercy and good fruits. I have been incredibly encouraged just in the last 24 hours from the phone calls that I've received and the emails that I've gotten. Uh, some of the emails have been that since our kids won't be in school, uh, some of them can be available to babysit. And so if you know of anyone who might need babysitting because they can't provide childcare, please consider our kids available. I had someone else call me and say that they're encouraged to work from home and they're a salaried employee and they're not expecting any dramatic financial changes in the next few weeks, but therefore they wanted to be available to help people uh, who might uh, be laid off from work or might not receive uh, their paychecks uh, because of limited hours and restricted access to work. And it has been encouraging to me to hear individuals in our church with this desire in this uncertain time to think of whatever it is they can do to be full of mercy and good fruits. And we believe our Heavenly Father desires that of all of us. And we're going to keep thinking about the best ways we can do that for our community. So even though we won't have services on Sundays, as we are pursuing together this uh, wisdom from above, we are going to think about whatever ways that we can be full of mercy and good fruits and to be agents of light in the midst of these times in our community. You'll hear more from us in the days ahead. Uh, we'll be sending out a family worship guide and other resources that we'll make available through our newsletter and posted on our website uh, and also linked on our Facebook page. And so expect to hear more from us soon.